The kid sitting next to me sticks out like a sore thumb in this dive. He looks like he's interning for a city councilman with chipmunky cheeks, perfectly coiffed hair, bright eyes matching a baby blue button down and a nasal but family friendly voice. I'd be willing to wager his name is Evan or Jimmy and that a solid 75% of what comes out of his mouth is punctuated with, golly gee, I like your style, he says to me out of the blue. Until that moment, I'd been staring intently into my beer, giving my makeup-free face a double chin. My clothes were factory grubby, and I was wondering if I could make it five more months out here without strangling my boss. So the compliment startled me. I looked myself over purposefully, then gave him a furrowed expression to relay my confusion and annoyance. The, the whiskey, he said in that chipper, such a nice young man voice wavering slightly as he took note of my consternation. I, I was talking about your whiskey there. I couldn't help but notice he was drinking something pink. <laughs> I grunted a thank you and he resumed, resumed conversing with his comrade. I'm a much more charming drunk when I'm in New York, I thought. I downed my apparently stylish shot of cheap whiskey and winced more from the pang of homesickness than the burn of the booze. All the laughter in this bar belonged to somebody else's lovable dirtbag drinking crew, not mine. Right now, I'm laughing at myself because in my mind, I could become one of those legends that everyone met somewhere in some bar. The one who disappoints by being shabbily dressed, half in the bag, or a complete asshole. People will eulogize me on Facebook like they'd done Al Goldstein that morning by bemoaning my neuroses and my temperament while lauding my talent and relevance. Seven hours later, I stand naked, swaying and glassy-eyed in the bathroom. I watch in the mirror as thick spit runs down my chin between my breasts post-vomit. <sighs> going soft, I think wryly. I never throw up in New York. <laughs> <laughs> never read any of these. These are just stuff that I wrote and sent to Phil on Facebook Messenger when I was hammered. So. <laughs> All right. Been wondering, when do I get to look back fondly on these lean years? Feels like they've carried on a while. Friends back home always say, you're used to it. You'll figure it out. You always do. I am. I do. Been walking a tightrope for a long time. I know I'm still young, but lately my teeth have been hurting and my eyes, my livelihood, they need help. I'm always one canceled gig away from homeless. Truth is, I'm a slave to the junkiest highs and lows of city living. I can't live any other way. I sabotage stability at every turn. But one of these days, my luck is going to run out, and I'll wish I'd stayed in that little town, let someone put a baby in me or whatever it is that people do there. <laughs> <laughs>